press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. The new FLIR VP50 is a rugged, non-contact voltage detector that includes an extremely bright work light. The VP50 features vibration feedback and flashing red LED alarms, useful when working in noisy areas, and convenient tip lights on the detection probe to light up your test targets. This new detector also features high and low sensitivity settings, as well as a low-profile probe tip, both useful working with safety outlets or detecting voltage on high-powered equipment, all the way down to low-voltage systems. The VP50 meets the quality and superior design you've come to expect from FLIR, the all-new VP50 Voltage Tester, part of the next generation of test and measurement only from FLIR. Three-in-one VR40, a versatile tradesman's tool. A pocket IR thermometer with an adjustable non-contact voltage detector and built-in flashlight to illuminate low light work areas. This versatile tool accurately checks surface temperatures and whether a line, cable, or AC outlet is energized. Its bright white LED flashlight is great for low light work with breaker panels or wires behind devices. The VR40's infrared thermometer, IRT, gives you precise non-contact surface temperature measurements. Detect overload currents in motors, electrical conduit, and junction boxes. It has a four to one distance to spot ratio, meaning that at four inches away, you'll be measuring a one inch target. And at eight inches, your target increases to two inches, etc. Note that if the measurement circle overlaps your target area, then you will also be averaging in the background temperature. Let's check a temperature as a demonstration Use a hot cup of coffee and a freezer. Point the unit at the cup. Press and hold the IRT button. Focus your laser and be precise with your target area. The unit displays the temperature for 20 seconds. Note the coffee and freezer temperatures. Next, put the cup into the freezer and measure again. Hold the VR40 close to the cup and observe what happens when the measurement overlaps the target area. At four inches, you should have a good reading of the coffee. As you move away, you will still get a good reading at 8 inches because the measurement area is still within the cup's diameter. As you go out beyond a foot though, you will see a difference. The freezer temperature is being averaged into the coffee temperature. Make sure to keep the measurement area within the target. You see the temperature in Fahrenheit, negative 4 to 626 degrees or Celsius. And to switch, press the NCV and IRT buttons at the same time. Now let's check for current. Unlike other non-contact voltage detectors, 
The VR40 provides four detection sensitivities to address practical ranges between 12 and 600 volts AC. You'll easily test for individual live wires in bundles and for reverse wiring and open circuits in 110 volt AC outlets. To select sensitivity, hold the NCV button and then press the IRT button once, twice, or three times until you see the desired number of bars on the NCV sensitivity level graph at the lower right of the display. The four detection sensitivities are 12 to 25 VAC, 70 to 125 VAC, 150 to 240 VAC, 250 to 1000 VAC. To use maximum non-contact sensitivity, select four bars. This will have the greatest non-contact range. We now want to see whether the outlet we just tested is properly wired. So, press and hold the NCV button while inserting the blade tip into one outlet slot, then repeat in the other slot. If the outlet is live, and properly wired, the VR40 will beep, and the red LED will flash to indicate voltage only when the tip is inserted into the smaller slot. VR40, safe for category 3 600 voltage use. It comes with two AAA batteries, a comprehensive user's manual, and a three-year limited warranty. Safe, reliable, easy. The VR40 from General Tools and Instruments. How do I find an open circuit using the Fluke 2AC pocket volt detector? There are several tests you can make. Your first one will be to grab your conductors. You can automatically determine which is your hot and which is your neutral. You see when you do have power flowing, you do have your red indicator light. You can do the same test with a power strip. Again, place the 2AC into the hot side and then place it into the neutral. Another method you can employ is a three-point test. So I'm going to check this additional power strip and see I'm seeing no power anywhere in the hot, neutral, or ground. I go back and check it against a known good circuit, see that I do have power. I can now make the determination that I have lost power in my subsequent power strip. Now when I do have power and I break the circuit, thereby indicating an open circuit, how can I be sure that I do, ha do not have power and it's not the battery in the volt detector itself? We've incorporated a battery test feature. By simply pressing this button, you get an indicator showing you that you do have good battery power, indicated by the red light on the front of the 2AC. And this way you know that you do not have power in your power strip at this point and your 2AC is working just fine.